what I will do now is I'll come here frame seven and be right here at frame seven one. Um, I would um, copy frame seven inside my graph editor, right? I'll copy my frame seven, um, shift D, right? And then I'll hold down the X key on my keyboard to move it all the way, like in a single line, all the way to frame um, 21, right? I will hold my, um, what's it called, my keyframes and highlight them together. And then I'll push, take them up. So um, we'll um, pull this up like this, you know, a little bit. Because um, we actually want to, you know, really see that force. We don't want it to actually ease out, right? We we only want it to ease in, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over here. When I click on this keyframe, right, you can see something that has like a handle right here. It has a top and a bottom handle. So we see this keyframe here right now. And if you if you watch closely the way the keyframe handles look, they look like something that has like one little dot in the middle of them, right? Well, when you click on the main keyframe, it has, there is no dot in the middle. It's just a dot on its own, right? Right here, right, I'm going to select this. And what we want to do now is we want to break this tangents, right? This keyframe handles, right? It's also known as tangents, right? What we want to do now is we want to break those tangents, right? So I'll click here and now I'll um, go to, let me just select it like this, right? Then I'll go to, I'll, I'll hit the V key on my keyboard and there is a set keyframe handle that is actually going to you know pop up for me and you can also find that by you know going to keys you know key by going to key handle type and then you see free align vector automatic and auto clamped right so all we want to actually pick on now is the free right we we'll click on the free and what the free does is actually going to help us break that tangent so that we can actually be able to manipulate it individually right because when they are actually together right you can you know really manipulate one from the other except you actually make them free of you know themselves so we've done that for this side of um, the handle we're going to come over to the end which is 24 and then we're going to do the same thing go to key handle type free and now we're going to you know move this one right that is making us have this call right not this one at the back right you know we are looking for a good curve right here because this is actually what you know determines the speed of our ball right so if we have as long as we have that ball or as long as we have the graph editor you know slanted the way it was before we are always going to be having um our easing out right so but we don't want that so right now we have the ball actually you know falling you know faster and also going up the way it's supposed to right so we're going to come here push something up like this and okay okay so if for anything if you're following if you're really following up with this tutorial so I, I want to believe that your bouncing ball has already started looking like this. This is it. So we've, you know, already cutting our ball, you know, bouncing all nice and taking in good shapes and all that. So let's see what we can work in the um, squash area. We'll come here and now um, we have this, right? So now this is the coordinate that actually, um, the transformation that actually affects the squash and the stretch of the ball, as you can see. Right, so you can really come in here and dial up things, you know, or just keep things simple. So, but what I'll do is um, I'll try and see what it needs to, you know, touch up any more thing, you know, just like that. So what I like to do is um, I like to um, introduce extra keys, right? At um, by the side of frame 10 and frame 18, right? Um, I'll come to frame 10 and I'll create a new key. I right clicking on my keyboard and say insert key and I'll hold frame 18 right and do the same thing new key right clicking on my key on my mouse sorry right clicking on my mouse and you know clicking on insert keys right 
Now what I'll do with this case, um, I'll bring here down a little. Okay, something like this. Something like this. And I'll come all the way up here, break this handle. Right. Um free. Make this one look something like this a little bit. You know, while still having like this, you know, rounded type type of you know motion on the top. And we'll come here and you know we we'll also do the same thing, make these guys free. And um you know something like that would do. So let's play this and see. So this is what we have. So let's see. Let's see if okay, okay. I think what I did is um I took the other two off from ten and so what we just did is um we adjusted um this top case right just adjusted this top case you know and you know remove the other extra case that we've already added so our ball is you know really bouncing all nice you can see it's beginning to look like it really has life you know so now if we look um at our um motion path right um let me go over to this guy and let me update it. Let me update this. And if you look at our motion part, you know, you can see that we have our ball, you know, really coming down, you know, with speed. Really coming down with speed right here because this key, this key frames are, you know, scanty. So I'm really going up with speed, sorry. And also, when it gets to the up right, when it gets to the top right, it eases in, right? You know, it slows down, right? And then it begins to come back down again, you know, because of the force that is, you know, exerting, right? It begins to stretch, you know, changing um shape over time, right? And you know, falls back down again, you know, with speed, right? Because of the keyframe adjustments that we did, that is, that was um. That was on um, 21 and 7. As you can see how that frame, you know, those two frames are really holding there, right? So it brings the ball down with full, with full force, right? So that's what we're actually having here. So what I'm trying to show you is I'm trying to tell you that um, you can still keep, you know, pushing, you know, that you can actually push any of these, you know, controllers, you know, on the ball while creating your your ball so you can see how this motion is actually looking right now so yeah and okay so yeah this is the motion that I actually have now of which I'm actually you know satisfied with yeah so if, you, if you've gotten to this stage so that means you've actually you know concluded your first bouncing ball training you know um in blender yep you're welcome